Hello my friends. Welcome to another painting with Harold and I am Harold and tonight what you're looking at is a 16 by 20 inch canvas and before you panic <laughs> let me explain what I've done. I covered it in black gesso. Let that dry. When it dried I applied a thin even coat, very thin even coat of liquid clear over the whole canvas. Then I took a very little bit of titanium white and I went right around this and all of the black you see here is I just took my brush and just went around and made some shapes in this circle uh, with the black gesso. Then I took a, like I said, the titanium white and just barely went over that, just scrubbed some titanium white in. Then I went right outside that circle with some yellow ochre and Indian yellow mixed in just a little around it. Then I came back around this circle again with some dark sienna. Then I finished it out with Van Dyke Brown. Uh, basically, we're going from light to dark all the way around. Uh, My colors today are going to be titanium white. I got out a little Prussian blue, phthalo blue, lizard and crimson, dark sienna, Van Dyke brown, sap green, cad yellow, yellow ochre, Indian yellow, and bright red, the evil bright red. All right, first thing I want to do is I'm going to go right into just a little bit. cad yellow. I'm going to get it right on my brush and it shouldn't take a lot of paint for this. And I'm just going to come up here and just start making my little egg strokes and just going around in a small circle here and just try to stay out of those other colors for now. I'm just staying right around there in, in here in the black where the titanium white is. Just Maintain those little circles. And you can see the black in here standing out pretty good because uh, cad yellow is a transparent color. In other words, you can see through it. And if you ever want to know if you've got a transparent color on a black canvas, just apply some of that color. And then you can put just a little bit of the color you want to go on with just to put you a spot up there. And if you can see it, then it's not transparent. Now, the colors I'm using are transparent enough to get away with what we're doing with. But uh, some colors are not transparent. All right, just fill this area right here in with some, with some yellow. All right. Then I'm going to go right over to my bright red and I'm going to pick up just a very little bit of bright red, very little and just tap just a little on the brush. I'm even going to go and tap some of that off on a, on a paper towel because I want very little bright red in this brush. And I just want to come right up here to the top right under these, these little trees here and I just want to make a little indication of bright red across the sky. And like I said, it's very, very little. Very little. I don't want much bright red up here. I just want enough up here that you can see it. That's it. <clears throat> just about like so. That's all we need for this paint. Now, since bright red is so powerful, I'm going to wash my brush. i tell you what I'll do since this is such a big area to cover. I'm going to pick up a clean, dry. Now keep in mind we got liquid clear on this canvas. So anytime we wash a brush and go back up there, we need to make sure it's dry. Because liquid clear and paint thinner have a chemical reaction to one another. And it'll, it'll mess your whole paint up quick. It, don't, it won't take long to do it. All right, I'm going to go right over here and I'm going to pick up some 
titanium white on my brush. I'm just going to tap it in, get me a even distribution across my bristles, about like so. And I'm going to come right up here in this white, and I'm just going to start with the little egg strokes. I'm just going to start working around. And you can see where it touched that red. And if it starts fading some of that out, well, that's fine too, because like I said, I don't want a lot of red up here. Alright, now once you get out into these colors, while you're doing these X strokes, don't carry this brush back into the center. And then if you feel yourself running out of paint out here, you can always go back in after you wash your brush. But make sure you wash the brush before you go back in. Because if you don't, and you carry these dark colors back into the center, it's going to kill the whole effect. All right, we'll go ahead and wash this two inch brush right quick. Now most of the time when you're doing a painting that involves a uh, black canvas and, and doing these colors like this, it, uh, <laughs> it, it'll turn you into an expert brush washer. I said, you got to make sure it brushes good and dry. You want it good and dry. All right, I see a little hair right there. I'm going to go ahead and pluck it off. All right, we'll go back up here and I'll pick up a little more of the white. Then I'm going to start right back here in my and my yellows on my outside ring here. And then I'll start working my way out. Now we're getting out into the darker colors. I'm still using the, the little egg stroke. And we'll go ahead and take this all the way off the canvas here. About like so. <clears throat> and we'll wash this brush again. Now this time when we go up with a clean dry brush we're going to start blending these colors together a little. All right, good and dry. All right. Now we'll start right back into center and we'll start working our way out. And we're going to lightly blend in these colors. And just remember, we want to stay out of the center. We do not want to go back in the center with these dark colors. Now while you're blending this, if you need to back up and look at it, that's perfectly understandable because sometimes you can't really see right off the tip of your nose exactly what it is you're doing. So you can step back and look and just about tell what needs to happen, you know, whether you need to blend here some more or there some more. And then once you, uh, once you get it blended to where you're happy with it, we'll come back up here and we'll just lightly, very lightly, go across it. Just go across the whole thing. 
and get out some of the brush strokes just like so and that's what you should end up with okay Now we want to take our finger and give us just a little titanium white on it. You want to come right in here under that little bit of red you had left and just put a little indication of the sun in here. Just a very little one. It don't have to be big at all. Then you can take a one inch brush and you can just come up here and just set that sun right into the painting. Just like so. Just blend out some of these stroke brush strokes in here. Like so. Alright. Then we want to come up here and we want to take out just a very little bit, very little bit of the dark sienna and titanium white. And we want this color real light. We just barely want to tell we got that dark sienna in there. And just tap them right on the brush. You need to pick up a little yellow ochre if you want to and bring into this color. Just very little bit. It won't take much. We need a very light color here. Then we want to come up and just tap on a little over this black. Just come out and like little little tree shapes, little little limbs just tapping out. Tap straight out, just like so. You can come up here and tap around a little. Just tapping over the black, basically all we're doing. And just, you know, in little tree shapes. Now this color has got white in it, so you're going to see it. But the effect we want is we want this to look like it's, it's trees way off in the distance. And, and the limbs are just way off in the distance. And by having this color this light, it'll, uh, it'll pull off this effect for us. And just, just tap around, just like so, until you get down, you know, kind of toward the bottom. And then one of the things we can do when you get to the bottom is you can turn the brush up sideways and tap in here and make it start looking like you're making bushes. Alright, then take and knock all of that paint out that you can on a napkin. And then come back up and just go over it again. Just lightly tap that same color and just try to push it down into the canvas. Just push it right down into the canvas. Don't forget you got to get your little bushes in here at the bottom. Just like so. Just kind of kind of try to kill it down just a little bit. Alright. Now, I'm going to pick up our script liner brush while we're right here working on it. And we're going to come right into the same color that we just used. And we'll come up here and we'll make us a little, all right, that's not going to be seen real good. So I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll pick up a little more white and I'll bring that white over in here. I don't want it darker. I'd rather have it lighter than I had darker. All right, 
and get a little white in over here. And we'll come in from the side kind of like this and just pull us in a little, little tree trunk with a little limb on it here and there. Just like so. Then we'll come in from here and put us in another one like so. And we'll do the same thing up top. Just bring us one in. Now if it goes to trying to lose that white on you, just go over here and get you some more. Because, I mean, you, you're going to want these seen. But we don't want much detail back here. We, we want these colors to be very subtle. Very subtle. And then we'll come in here with one. And if they're crooked, that's that's fine. That's probably even better. Because you don't you don't need a lot of straight stuff in here right now. And then we'll just put us a couple in here. Wherever you think there may be a tree yet. Just add you one. And then right back in here. We'll come down with us a couple limbs couple trunks just like so and if it goes to getting too light on you try to get a little bit of that dark back in there but just don't don't put too much because in this yellow this will show up better like so and then you can come down and just kind of make you a random group of trees trunks in here now these can be uh shorter and taller and just just sit you some in here just make them look like they're they're just far far off just a bunch of trunks and you can pull these down all the way into the all the way into the uh, black down here just like so and you just want them to look like they're just just full of little trees back through there like you're just looking back at at hundreds of trees and like I said we don't want a lot of detail right here because these are real far back All right, and I'll wash my I'll wash my brush right here my script liner then we'll pick up that one inch brush I was using and I want to come back in and I want to pick me up a little more white. I want this color to be just a little bit, just a little bit lighter than that other color. And if it ends up being the same color, I'll show you how to fix it. But now what we want to do is we want to come in here under the sun and we just want to lightly tap in here. Just tap the indication of some some leaves back here on these trees and remember what I said we do not want no detail back here we do not need no detail we want these to appear to be way way back and we don't want to we don't want a lot of heavy leaves just leave leave trunk in there and just come across and just just tap you know we want to maintain a tree shape I'm not saying don't don't maintain a tree shape but don't uh don't worry about just making like the perfect tree All right, about like that's what we're looking for yep something about like that Alright. Now, since that sun right there is, is up there and it's burning so bright, I think what would happen and in, in, in my mind, what would happen is you would have just a little bit 
of sun shining on these these trees back here. No matter how far back they are, I still think the sun would hit them just a little bit. Not these, but these that's got the limbs coming in. So we'll come around and we'll just barely touch the outside edge of these because we still don't want a lot of detail even on them. But just enough to, oh, see, that's too much. All right, let's knock some of that off. We'll push this on in. I don't want that much. We can get away with it right there because it's right at the sun, but about like that's all we want. Yep. All right. Now, once you start coming out further from these trees, the further you come out, the darker it's going to get. So, come in here and kill down some of your trunk. And the way you do that is to take your color that you was using and just come in there and, and just tone some of the branches and trunk down. Now, you don't have to worry about coming in there and killing them, but just... You know, tap over them in places just to make them look like, I mean, you still want to know they're back here, but they, they don't have to be as prominent as they were. They don't have to stand out that much. So you just want to come in here and, and just kill a few of them without trying to kill the illusion at the same time that you got limbs way back in the distance. About like that. If you can see that. <coughs> and if you want to, you can come in here and soften these up just by pulling them down some. These trunks that's sticking down at the bottom, you can soften them down a pretty good bit just by pulling down on them, just like so. Just don't make them disappear. Just, just pull down on them. And it'll make it look like they're lost back here in mist. Which is fine. You just, just lightly tap. Just like so. And then come back into your Van Dyke Brown. Back into the white. But this time it's going to be a little darker. And come up here now. And start start tapping you in some some leaves and tree shapes over that and while you're doing this try to remember that you still want that you still want that light color to be seen as distant trees way off so don't don't cover all them. But just like so. And then come down around. And when you get closer to the bottom, with you some little bush shapes. About like so. That's all you gotta do. Just add some bushes out to the side. around the top up here just like so maybe out in here a little bit <clears throat> about like that should be about all we need then we'll pick us up just a hair bit of thinner very little bit and we're gonna come right into the bright yellow the cad yellow and we still got that uh, dark sienna on our brush. And we'll pick up just a little bit of green. Won't take much green at all. Just a little bit. Because, like I said, we do not want to 
we don't want a lot of detail back here yet. And we'll start seeing a little color, but we don't want to see we don't want to see a lot of color back here. So just very lightly tap on. Very lightly. Just tap this on. Just very lightly. And this is just enough to give it a just to give it a taste of color. That's all it's gonna do. It's just gonna add a little taste. In fact, it needs to be so light that if you if you didn't know you wasn't putting it on, you wouldn't even know it was up here. Just don't come out too far into that other light color because that color needs to be back in the background. About like so. About all we need to do. And then come around the top a little bit with the with the top and add on just a little bit just like so then we can come in here and pick us up a little of the yellow ochre and come back over into the yellow and you can come up here and just add a little color on the bushes that you made under here just a little. It won't take much. Just, just enough to let you know it's there. That's all we're trying to do right now. We don't want a lot of detail in none of this yet. Not yet. About like so. That's all you need. In fact, you can, you can bring this one on down a little. Kind of the worst flat across here. And then kind of, kind of start working out at a, at an angle up here. Just have that part come down and out, just like so. See how I did that? Pulled it down, kind of at an angle over here, and did the same thing over here on this side. All right. Now, if you touched a couple places that picked up a little too much green. You can just go back up and just kind of work them out a little, just real lightly. Because don't forget, you still got your, your trees in the middle here. All right. Now we're going to pick us up a fan brush. And we'll bring it right into a little bit. Of the sap green and the cad yellow and we want to tone this color down a good bit and take a little white and put in it because this color is probably going to get a good bit of sun on it right here we just want to come up here and just kind of push it up using the corner across the bottom here and just just push us up a little flavor across here just have little little doer standing up here like so that's all we're looking for right there that's all we want then we'll bring it over to the center and get ready to wash it out All right, now, let's come back into our dark sienna again. But this time we're going to add a little bit of the Van Dyke Brown with it. And we're going to come in and we're going to start, we're going to start putting us some whole lot darker tree shapes in here now. Just come in here and Tap on some, some tree shapes about like so. Except for when you get to the bottom. Just kind of punch it out like a bush. All the way across the bottom like so. Then 
come back up and continue back with your with your tree shapes and just bring them out just don't come over too far with them not like that then we want to do the same thing on this side just don't come in too far that's the that's the that's the thing you don't want to do right now as tempting as it is don't don't come in too far with them because if you come in too far right now you're gonna kill all the other little bushes we had hiding around that's supposed to represent our distance and we don't want to kill our depth right now we want the depth to stay with us all right and then just bring it on around like so and then just close in the top on both sides like so and then you can kind of just kind of work on rounding out the top just about like so It's not near as hard as you think. Alright, now right in here. Then we can come in here and bring this across. Like so. With our little blue shape on the bottom of that. And come up here and just, just kind of lightly tap around up top up here. like so <clears throat> alright let's go ahead and wash this brush matter of fact let's go ahead and wash all these brushes it won't take but a second Well, we'll just wash one of them for now, because we're going to come back up here and we're going to add some highlight on these we just made. But the first thing we got to do is we got to put a trunk in them. So, let's come up here, go back into our, our uh, dark sienna, and we'll just come right up here. We'll bring us in a couple, couple trunks, just like so. Now, none of these trunks have to be perfect right now. I mean, they don't, because everything we're doing is is. pretty much being done from a distance and we don't want to we don't need a whole lot of detail in nothing right now all right no one like that we'll bring it down to the side like that bring it into the dark color One thing I forgot to do a minute ago was on these little green bushes right here. I want to I want to tap them down some. I want to tone them down a little bit. They don't need to be that bright. So we want to kind of just lose these in the mist. About like so. Bring them off into the into that color on the side over there if we have to because we're going to come back and put a well we're going to do it now while we're here we're going to take and put a little white on here and come back up here and add a little 
add a little sunshine color to them and then we'll continue tapping them out so the green does come through a little not like that because you can about imagine these little bushes are they on fire in here and then to make them look like bushes now we'll come back in the body of them and we'll give them a little bush shape just stay out the top because that top's where the sun's hitting them you got them lit up not like so and then just kind of lightly blend it out across the bottom not like so because this is going to end up not staying this way anyway so huh. we got a little something going on extra for that in a minute as a matter of fact we could have left that out for right now. We didn't even really have to put that in, but I did. All right, I'm going to pick up just a little bit of thinner. Very little because we got that, that other color up here. I'm going to pick up a little of the cad yellow mixed with the green. And I'm going to pick up just a little bit of the yellow ochre mixed in with these colors. Get us a kind of a dark green going on here. Because now we're going to try to do a highlight on these trees. And we want to come in here and just using the corner of a one inch brush and just tap us on some, tap us on some color. And just try to maintain a tree shape. Just tap on a little color. And right out here on the end, or on the edge out here. If you get a little brighter, that's fine because don't forget that's where your sun is. And we may even come back in a little bit and highlight this outside edge, or actually it'll be the inside edge. We may come back and highlight it with a little bit of a little bit of white and green, just to just to make it really pop. Because you know with that, with that sun glaring in there like it is, there's going to be some, there's going to be some definite uh, sunshine coming through there. <clears throat> then we're going to come over here and do the same thing on the other side, using the same colors. up here and continue with our with our tapping. Just use the corner of the one inch brush. when we come back with our white. Maybe this side's in a little dark, a little bit more in the dark than the other side.
or we can just go back over here to this side and make it match. I mean, we are in charge here. This is our paint. So. Alright. So wash this brush again. coming down on that side so when we let's pick us up a little white and a little bit of sap green and mix these colors right on the brush and we'll put just a touch of Indian yellow in it just a touch just a little white Indian yellow and a very little bit of green Just to come up here on this outside edge and make these colors pop. Shouldn't take much. Just a little bit. About like that, that's all we need. Just here and there. Because if we put too much of this on, it's going to kill the whole effect. And we don't want to do that. Just like so. Alright, now let's grab our filbert brush. Well, I'll tell you what, before we do that, before we do that, well, we can use the filbert brush for that. Sure can. Let's pick us up a little bit more of the yellow and just a little bit more of the green. Mix it right here on the filbert brush. And we'll come right here on this dark color where this little bush is. And we'll just take this and highlight this little bush. Just be sure to leave yourself some dark. Don't kill all your dark. like so. And then you can come on in just a little bit here. Just like so. And then run it on out. Then we want to do the same thing on this side. Just come in here and give yourself a couple of bush shapes. Come over here and pick you up another one. And you can leave a little you can leave a little dark in here. And come in here like so. Just give yourself a couple of bush shapes, all you're looking for. So that's all we need. All right. Then I'm gonna take this brush real quick and get it good and dry. I'm gonna we'll come up here into the Van Dyke Brown. And I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come right here and touch and touch and touch and touch again, and then come run off the canvas. So right in here. We'll
like a little path in here. It opens up and comes off the bottom down here, just like so. It's a pretty wide little path. All right, then we want to pick us up a little more to Van Dyke Brown. That would brush up really good. And we want to come down over here, just like so. I'm going to bring this all the way down to right in there like that for now. And on this side over here, we want to bring this one down. Right through here for now. All right, then we'll bring another one down over here, about right in here, like so. I might have to hold off on this one for now, cause I got a, I got a plan for it, so we'll hold off on it for right there for now. And we'll lay this brush to the side, and we will pick us up a one-inch brush again and get it clean. We'll get it clean and dry. <coughs> take our sap green, come back over here into our CAD yellow, load the brush up really good, I'm going to come up here to our path, I'm going to tap us in some, tap us in some grass cross here, just like so. And this will also let us work out our lay of the land a little bit, like so. We'll come across here like this. Come over here a little bit, pop into here, now these trees are not where they're going to stay right now so we just worry about that when we get to it, bring our color on over to our path. all back in here just like so So, and 
This is just that little tappy grass. And all we're doing is just tapping it on. This is a grass where you want to be careful and not let it, not let your brush slide because if it does, it's going to smear on you. But now this ain't all we're going to do here. We're going to come back and do a little more work on this. Right now I'm just trying to get the color in here. like so then we'll come in on the other side and we're going to do the same thing come across here right into the that's got a little more green in it so we'll just go ahead and match everything up for now not that it really matters too much but we don't want to we don't want to get too far out of kilter here. And keep everything looking kind of uniform for now. Because like I said, we got we got some more work we gotta come back and do. But right now our main concern is getting everything filled in and figured out where everything's going and if we want to add anything or do we want to take something out, we just got to make sure we keep up with what's happening. That's our main concern right now. We just don't want it to get away from us. Because it can, it can quickly turn south on you. Any painting can for that matter. Just when you think you got it all figured out, it'll it'll come back and throw you for a loop. <coughs> About like that. That's what we're looking for. Now I can go back up here now. Pick up my my uh, filbert brush again, and I can finish bringing this one on down on the grass like so. And I can give it a give it a little foot. All right, then I'm gonna bring this part of it up on around. And I'm going to come off of him about right in here with another limb, like so. And another big limb, about like so. Now he ended up being a, a grown up tree. Yep, he is a, he is much of a tree. He is a grown tree. Life was good to him. Alright, then this one, I want to bring it on down a little bit onto the grass. And I'm going to give him a foot right out of here. Just like so. I'm going to bring this color on up. Just like so. I'm going to come off of him with a pretty decent sized limb. Like that. I'm going to pull one out this way. About like so. Then we'll pull this little fella down a little. About like that. Give him a little foot. And then go back up. And work him around. 
and pull them off a limb about like so like the way that shaped so that's yeah I'm bringing it like that I like that better it just it did not look right it looked like the tree was a block like it was blocked off all right all right I'm not gonna I'm going to put a couple of bushes back in here, but I'm not going to do that until after we get all this highlighted. All right, I'll tell you what we'll do. We will we will go ahead and take us a little break. And then that way I can... Uh, I can get some brushes cleaned up and we'll come back and start adding highlight colors to all of this and start getting it cleaned up a little bit and I think we'll have us a painting so I will be right back shortly 